What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Travis of Preston, and I'm still in Scotland. So I'm actually taking a day tour outside of Edinburgh, and I'm walking towards the Kelpies right now, all right? Now, you're probably not familiar with the Kelpies, because I know I wasn't. <clears throat> but shout out to my coworker, uh, Maria. She actually told me about the Kelpies. So I was like, oh, let me check this out. And upon looking at her content and uh, her pictures, I fell in love with it and I was like, I have to come see it. So I'm walking towards it right now. So let me show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so I just got to the Kelpies. So what do you think about the, the two mythical um, horses? I definitely got to get some more uh, research on them, on the, on the two horses. Um, but essentially, they was created, I guess, to uh, bring water from Glasgow to, to Edinburgh. There's some type of uh, waterway passage um, that they use for like merchants and stuff like that to bring uh, material back and forth. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get some more information on them and have them up as a, uh, as a pop up on this video. So I'm going to go a little closer so I can show you guys some different angles and views, all right? All right, guys, so what did you think about the Kelpies, They're on the views and stuff like that? Uh, let me know if you've ever been here. Uh, tell me what you think. And if you haven't been here, this is something that you guys are interested in that you guys might want to visit. All right, so I'm about to go into the next point, which I'm not sure which one it is because I'm actually on a day tour. So I'll put all that in, uh, in the description below, okay? All right, let's go. All right, guys, so we just got to the second stop. So we're actually in Lake Loman, all right, and uh, Loch, Loch Loman. Loch is, uh, I guess, Scottish for a lake, all right? So it's actually directly behind this cafe and um, right across the street is the actual parking, all right? So I'm gonna try to make my way down to the lock uh, as soon as I figure out how to get down there. So we're still walking. So that was like a little overview. I think it's called Tom Weir or something like that, but I'll get more information on that. So when you come down the hill a little bit, uh, you see the cafe is still behind me. You're gonna walk around and you're gonna bend the corner to a little bit to the left. And it's like a little pier. So that's where I'm walking to now. And I wanna take time to uh, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment at the end and let me know what you think of the content, all right? So also, there's plenty of different uh, trails here. So for people that like trails, you can catch you a trail. Uh, not gonna do a trail today because we're on a time crunch, uh, but if you rent a car or uh, if you just have just more time with your tour guide, but he said like the, um, the good one that goes up, it's like, 40, like a 45 minute uh, hike up this trail and then obviously 45 back. We only got an hour and a half down here, so. Still making our way through the lock. So the lock, um, the, this is not the most well-known uh, of the locks. Most people will know Loch Ness. Uh, but I chose this one because they had the Kelpies on it. All right, so, but uh, the tour guide was pretty much saying that this, the, this is the, the uh, of all the locks, this is the favorite of the Scottish people.
All right. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me turn this around for you. Right, guys so we just got to sterling castle uh this is the last stop on the tour so we got roughly about an hour hour and a half i'm gonna try to shoot as much content as possible uh weather permitting as you can see it's been kind of like a horrible day but um i'm not sure if this is like maybe just a uk thing and you know you know all the uh, storm clouds and stuff like that but i'm actually in a little courtyard part right here um <clears throat> they have a actual uh what is that a gift shop right there um, they got the ticket booth right there. So I'm about to make my way through this little corridor right here and let's take our little journey.
what y'all think so far about the castle i think it's pretty dope um like i know i couldn't vlog the edinburgh uh castle but i um uh, if you check out my instagram i took some videos and a lot of pictures so you know give you guys an idea what it looks like inside even though i couldn't use my actual vlogging equipment so i think it's pretty dope um it's a huge huge castle um I'm kind of running short on time because i was kind of vlog and stuff like that so but um let me know what you think in the comments what you think about uh edinburgh make sure you check out the first video it's like a walking tour of uh, edinburgh uh i try to catch everything only thing i didn't um didn't catch was the palace only because uh they was closed the day that i went they're open uh thursday through monday thursday through monday so yeah i couldn't catch it but hopefully you can let me know what you think of that as well all right, so this is Travels of Preston signing out from this uh, day tour and Scotland. Peace.